Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. But 100 years later, we are still not free. 100 years later. We are still sadly crippled by the chains of discrimination. We have come to our nation's capital to pass a test. We refuse to believe that the Bank of Justice is bankrupt. We have also come to remind America of the fierce urgency of now. Now. To make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time. To rise from the dark valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is the time. To make justice a reality for all of God's children. It would be fatal for our nation to overlook the urgency of the moment. But there is something that I must say to my people. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred. We must forever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. Even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, a dream. It is a dream. Deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream. That one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. America is to become a great nation. This must become true. So let freedom reign. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. <laughs> and when and this happens, happens when we want freedom, freedom to ring. When we let it ring from every village, for every state and every city. That, that day, when, when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old spiritual. Thank God Almighty, we're free at last.